Today, let's talk about meta tagging your podcast after you've finished producing it completely so that it shows up in your listener's iPhone or Android device on their, it, it shows up on their player as if it were like an actual music track. Stick around, I'll show you how. What's going on, friends? My name is The Shan Man, radio broadcaster, podcaster, and podcast producer. And today, let's talk about meta tagging your audio file once you've finished producing your, your podcast. Now, I've been involved with this, this discussion about how you can create the right type of meta tags for your podcast. Now, what do I talk about meta tags? Now, meta tagging is basically uh, putting the necessary information inside of your audio file so that when um, it is delivered, through your RSS feed on maybe Libsyn or maybe SoundCloud or maybe uh, Blueberry Hosting, uh, Podbean, uh, that your the title of your podcast shows up the right way inside of the player. Now, you can do this in some of these hosting services, but more than likely you're going to need some type of MP3 meta tagging software that you'll need to download, all right? And now you can get that if you're using something like Audacity. There is certain software that you can find out there. I recommend that you go over to uh, Daniel J. Lewis's channel because he talks a lot about how you can meta, meta tag your audio files in Audacity. Now, I don't play in Audacity too much. I actually play in Adobe Audition, and that's what I'm gonna show you today. It's actually something that's very simple to do, all right? And I recommend that you're always using Adobe Audition. Well. I recommend it. You don't have to use it. You can use any type of uh, audio editing software that you want, but I just know how to do it the best inside of Adobe Audition because I've been using it for about 17 years and it's the program that I know how to use the best. So let's jump on over to the computer. I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about because you will want this for your podcast so that your files aren't showing up as just a file name all the time, okay? So let's jump into the computer. Okay, so here we are inside of Adobe Audition and I've created a fake piece of audio or just a piece of audio for us to use as an example of what I will be talking about in uh, this video. Now, since I've already recorded it, I've gone ahead and let's just, uh, we're gonna go ahead and save as um, meta tagging audio, okay? And I'll show you exactly the reason why I'm doing this, all right? So I've already saved this, so we'll just go ahead and save it again and, and overwrite, yeah, we'd like to overwrite. And we've saved this piece of audio. Now, now that this piece of audio is saved, all right, it's basically, it's a raw form. It's, there's no metadata that we have put inside of it quite yet. So if I were to come on over here and find that piece of audio and double click it, you see that it says meta tagging audio mp3. If I double click this right now, hey, thank you so much for watching my YouTube channel. My name is the Sham Man Radio Broad. There's that piece of audio. Now, what I want you to notice here is that it says meta tagging audio. It doesn't have like anything else. If I were to play something else that had, say, the title of a program it would show up inside of here so to give you an example i have a piece, a piece of audio here where i've put the metadata in it the right way so if i double click on it and there you can see it says dna at detective delivers a prayer it's by carrie pena and it's from inspiredmedia360.com okay but that doesn't exist on my metadata uh example file so how do we get that to show up now there's different programs that you can purchase and they're they're free or they can be they, they may not sometimes work well with your computer um, and you're more than welcome to download those I'm just showing you how I do it inside of Adobe Audition I like to have an all-in-one uh, program that will allow me to do this without having too much software and sometimes that software that you're downloading from other websites has bloatware and it it, it can just overload your computer and, and and take up space instead I just rather would use Adobe Audition to get this all done so where you need to go inside of Adobe Audition is you need to come over here to the right-hand side where it says metadata, all right? If this doesn't show up, in Adobe Audition, you need to come over to Window and you need to find metadata and you need to check mark that, all right? So you can do that. If you check mark it and it takes it off, you just come back, metadata, and it brings it back. Once you come into metadata, you're gonna see all these different titles here. This is all the metadata that you could put on certain tracks or whatever. The one I want you to focus on right now is ID3, okay? 
and this will give you the this will be able to show you the name of the actual piece so let's just name this right now we'll just say this is the metadata shanman's metadata uh, audio example okay the artist is obviously going to be me so we'll just say shannon hernandez and let's just say that the name of the album is going to be um, audio tips from shannon okay now you could put a recording date on this and you could do so much more uh, you can actually leave uh, in the comments the website address um, the genre the track number you could do a number of different things in here but for your podcast in particular you just need to fill these three things out right here three to four things out all right now once you're done let's go ahead and click file save as and we'll just go ahead and overwrite the current file that we have so we'll click OK overwrite it and let's come back in now when I double click this you're gonna see that it should have the metadata that is listed on your audio file so let's go ahead and double click it hey thank you so much for watching my YouTube channel and there it is right there Shanman's metadata audio example Shannon Hernandez from the album audio tips from Shannon so that's really what you want to be putting inside of your uh, audio file i mean it's just really that simple when you're using something like adobe audition adobe audition just makes it so much more easy to edit your podcast and get all those necessary pieces in before you have to go and import and export and just it, it can become quite a hassle all right now there are different ways to do this you can do it uh inside of audacity and you can add artwork but for the most part I'm just using the metadata so that it shows up. This piece shows up in my listeners audio program or audio applications the right way instead of just showing the name of the file. You see what I'm saying? So that's how you input your metadata inside of your audio file or your podcast so that someone else can listen. Now, before I, I, I finish off right now real quick, we'll stay on the screen, but let me just let me just kind of make this point not all the time will you put a podcast inside of itunes you know not not all the time maybe you are creating a podcast where people are subscribing to a specific style of podcast all right or they're, they're subscribing to an exclusive paid only podcast you will want to do this metadata technique right here whenever you're uploading your audio to your website or wherever people are going to download it because that's where they're getting their audio file from and you still want this to show up in their audio file or their audio program or audio app the right way so you'll always need to be meta tagging everything so that it always shows up as the name of a title of a track um, who it's by and what album it's coming off of. I mean, you could put in here the, the name of your website if you wanted to. Uh, you could put like maybe a different call to action, something like that inside of there. Either way, always, always, always put your metadata inside of here, whether you're putting it in iTunes or you're putting your audio file in the back end of a membership website. It's going to make your life a lot easier down the line. Now, I understand that there might be other softwares out there. And if you know of any other softwares, go ahead, drop a, uh, a comment down below. Um, also, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. I always love that. But leave a comment down below. Let me know what software that you're using for your podcast meta ta uh, metadata. I'd be interested to seeing what you guys have to say about that. If you enjoyed this video like I did say before, make sure you leave it a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Just let me know that you liked it or uh, maybe other comments of what you want to see in other videos or future upcoming videos so that I can help you out. And again, don't forget to subscribe to my newsletter over at theshanman.com. And of course, you can always listen to my podcast, Be The Experience, that you can find on theshanman.com. So I hope this video has helped you this week, and I'll see you next time.